In this video, we're going to take everything that we've learned about linear functions and we're going to find it all in one example. So you're not learning anything new in this video. We're just kind of taking all of the ideas we learned and we're putting them together. So for example one, we have this beautiful graph right here. Now remember linear, that means that you have a line. So that's why all these things that we have are lines. So your domain. These are your x values from left to right. My furthest point to the left. Well, that's this point right here. I have an arrow. This says that it's going to the left forever because I'm talking about my x's, so we're talking about side to side. This is going to the left forever. If it goes to the left forever, then that's going to negative infinity. My furthest point to the right is this point right here. This graph is going to the right forever, so that's going to positive infinity. So my domain from left to right is from negative infinity to positive infinity, which is the same thing as saying all real numbers. Again, this is the symbol for all real numbers. If you don't like drawing the symbol, then you could just write out all real numbers. Again, this symbol is just a capital R with an extra line. Whenever you have a line with arrows on either end, this will always be your domain every time. Your range are your y values from the bottom of your graph to the top of your graph. The bottom of my graph is pointing down forever. That is going to negative infinity. The top of my graph is going up forever. So that's going to positive infinity. So my range from the bottom to the top is from negative infinity to positive infinity, which is the same thing as saying all real numbers. Again, whenever you have a line with arrows on either end, your range will always be negative infinity to positive infinity every single time. Your x-intercept is where your graph crosses your x-axis. That is happening at this point right here. That is the point 3, 0. You always want to write your x-intercept and your y-intercept as ordered pairs. So don't just write 3. Make sure you've written out 3, 0. Your y-intercept is where your graph crosses your y-axis. That is happening at this point right here. This is the point zero, three. We want to know if this graph is increasing or decreasing. Well, this graph has a negative slope. I can tell that because it's going down from left to right. And so that means that it is decreasing. Is this graph continuous or discrete? Well, I tra uh, traced this graph without picking up my pencil, and so that makes this continuous. For our end behavior, as x approaches negative infinity, this is telling us to look at the left side of the graph. This is the left side, this is the right side. The left side of my graph is pointing up. If it's pointing up, that means that it's going to positive infinity. As x approaches positive infinity, this is the right side of my graph. The right side of my graph is pointing down, so that is going to negative infinity. Go ahead and pause this video and see if you can try example two all on your own. At the very least, see how much of it you can get on your own. It's okay if you can't get all of the characteristics, but try to fill in some of them before hitting play. The more you can do on your own now, the more prepared and ready you are for your upcoming test.
your domain are your x values from left to right. My furthest point to my left is this point right here. That means my graph is going to the left forever, so that is going to negative infinity. because This is the left side. This is the right side. The furthest point to the right is this point right here. My graph has an arrow. It's going to the right forever. That means that is going to positive infinity. So my domain from left to right is from negative infinity to positive infinity, which is the same thing as saying all real numbers. This will always be your domain whenever you have a line with arrows on either end. Your range is your y values from the bottom of your graph to the top of your graph. The bottom of my graph is pointing down, so that's going to negative infinity. The top of my graph is pointing up, so that's going to positive infinity. So my range from the bottom of my graph to the top of my graph is from negative infinity to positive infinity, which is the same thing as saying all real numbers. This will always be your range whenever you have a line with arrows on either end. Your x-intercept is where your graph crosses your x-axis. That is happening at this point right here. That is the point for zero. Now, it gets um, easy to confuse interval notation with ordered pairs. So again, these two things are interval notation here, but this is an ordered pair. Orders pairs always use parentheses. Your y-intercept is where your graph crosses your y-axis. That is happening at this point right here. This is the point 0, negative 2. We want to figure out if this graph is increasing or decreasing. Well, I have a positive slope. I can see that because my graph goes up from left to right, so this is increasing. And this graph is continuous because I just traced it without picking up my pencil. For the end behavior, as x approaches negative infinity, this is telling me to look at the left side of my graph. The left side of my graph is pointing down, so that is going to negative infinity. As x approaches positive infinity, this is telling me to look at the right side of my graph. The right side of my graph is pointing up, so this is going to positive infinity.